Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't phone for the mess. Go ahead, pause the screen and read this right here. So if y'all been keeping up with anything that's been going on in music, um, Moneybag Yo, I think it was either leaked or he dropped it, but I think it was really leaked. When I tried to find it, I can't find it anywhere official. It's like all these leaker pages. But Moneybag Yo responded to everything that's been going on about everybody dissing him, about speculations about him playing both sides. He responded to that song because somebody who took offense was Big 30. Now, the person on the screen right here would say, Brodin from O Black just, call, o Black just called and said, Rest up. They pretty much was talking about Big Nooski. That's Big 30 Cousin, who was also affiliated with Bread Gang. Now, things get a little tricky because not too long ago, like a year ago, Big 30 dropped a song, and I don't know if it was leaked or dropped, uh, but. He was kind of addressing the situation too. He didn't really say no name, no. He didn't really speak on no names, but he said out his own mouth, "How you expect me to claim the same thing as an op?" And that's a guy named Shad. Um, Shad was running around hanging with Jizzle. If you all know CEO Jizzle, he dissed Big Nooski, but then he's also seen wearing a bread gang chain. So the same guy that's hanging around Money Bag Yo is hanging around the guys who y'all correct me if I'm wrong could possibly have something to do not Jizzle, but just that side in in general could have something to do with the murder of Big Thirty cousin or just even dissing him. So the fact that Money Bag Yo was hanging with dude looked skeptical, but Bag spoke on that in the song too, saying that Shad already proved his loyalty to him. He don't got to question his loyalty. He was only speaking on that because it looked weird to the streets. And I got to admit, that dude looked very weird. Now, Big 30 said um, on that, in that post, he pretty much said, how you say you big, how you say you Nooski living if you ain't even lift a finger and slide or do nothing for bro? And he also spoke about how he interjected himself in the money bag, yo beef, and money bag shut that down, said he never asked him to do nothing. He pretty much said, but money bag said out his own mouth verbatim, he felt Big 30 and his homies was want the wrath of money bag to kind of like, to be on his dick. But come on, come on, bad gang. You you sign these niggas. So of course they gonna wanna ride for their homies. If a nigga sign me, or if you show me some type of love that changed my life, I'm gonna ride for you. So you don't gotta ask certain street niggas. You don't gotta ask certain people to do shit, bro. Put it like that. They just gonna do it if they really fuck with you. So that was a little flaw to me, money bag, yo. I don't really like that. You could've addressed that shit in a different way, bro. Like I know you wanna shit on them, but if a nigga jump in your beef and risk their life for you, Come on, gang. I don't know. Maybe that's just me who feel like certain people deserve a little more respect in certain aspects of shit. But moving forward with that, Big 30 said he only wore the chain because he was signed to him and different shit like that. Um, honestly, Moneybag Yo took a long time to respond to this, so you could tell he didn't really want to do it. I'm pretty sure it's people back in his own hometown that's on his ass. Now, everything with the whole finesse two-time situation was weird how they was beefing and finesse went to really cause harm to him and then they squashed it like i get squashing beef for the motherfucker but like signing a nigga who said he's gonna smack you up and shit like that that's different that's weird but maybe money bag yo felt he was in the wrong and if that is true then that shows a pattern of money bag yo doing a little flaw shit now mind you i am an advocate or a person for saying that just because one person has money don't mean they got to do for everybody. I agree with that totally. But something that he spoke on in the song was Big 30 was supposed to be holding down Pooh Shiesty. But ever since Pooh Shiesty got locked up, he lost motivation. Now, I agree with that. I don't know if it's the lost motivation part of just out here doing this stuff, Thizzle. But Shorty ain't really dropping no music. Him and Shiesty had a buzz like a motherfucker, man. Like, motherfuckers was rocking with him. And it's like when Shiesty disappeared, Big 30 disappeared. But get in the comment section let me know what y'all think. Below, I'm gone.